Hi everyone, this is Mike Schwartz from Glue, and today I'd like to talk to you about how you can use the free open source Glue server to identify either your customers or your employees using FIDO U2F devices. FIDO is a standards organization, and they've created a authentication standard for tokens these little security tokens. You might have seen this one. This is a YubiKey. Um, we have uh, other ones. This is another type of, of YubiKey device. Um, it's pretty small. Um, it's also actually plugs in, um, plugs in USB. Um, kind of, um, it detects when you touch it. And here's another kind. Um, this one um, is called a HyperFido. And you can see um, it is a USB device also, of course, and has a little button on it. You can press the button, clicks. Um, so those are some of the, the U2F devices that are out there. And the good news is, is that um, there are YubiKeys, and, and now there are other vendors who are making these devices. And we're going to see lots of, of um, diversity and options for people to go out and acquire their own um, security tokens on Amazon or other, um, you know, other electronics places. So, okay, well, let me show. So, so let's say either your customers or your employees now have these 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 new tokens. Um, how do you use them? Um, well, the demo that I wanted to show you was using Chrome. Um, there's a Chrome U2F um, plugin that I've installed and the Glue server. So the Glue server is a central authentication server and it supports um, the FIDO U2F APIs. They're built in. So I won't show how to install the Glue server here. Basically, you're going to probably use a Linux distribution and install it the standard way doing yum install Glue server or app get install Glue server. But once you have your Glue server installed, what you're going to do is enable U2F and set it as the default authentication mechanism. But first, let me give you a, a quick U2F demo. What, what would this look like? So the way that um, our default installation works is we use a two-step authentication. The first step is your username and password, the something you know. And the second step is um, you insert your token, you press the button or you touch it, and it um, authenticates. So that's the user experience. Um, it's the same user experience whether you're registering your token for the first time or you're subsequently authenticating. So if you if you get a new token in the mail, you, uh, you authenticate using your username and password. It, you don't have a device associated, but you go ahead and you press the button and the glue server knows to enroll that device right there and it'll require it for su subsequent authentications. So how do you configure it in the glue server? So after you've done a standard glue server installation, this is um, OxTrust. It's the policy administration point for the glue server. It itself is an OpenID Connect relying party. Um, so to enable um, U2F, there's, a glue, there's an interception script that we now include um, with the server. And I went to the wrong place. It's manage custom scripts. And what you're going to need to do is find the U2F script. Um, it's right at the top. And there's a button um, down here for enabled, a little checkbox. So you're going to want to check that and save it. And that'll enable U2F. And then to set um, U2F as the, as, the, as the default authentication mechanism under Manage Authentication, you can um, select the default authentication type. So here, um, here I selected U2F. So you'd select that and save and log in and log out. And that would be it. So um, to summarize, you can use the Glue server um, to authenticate people using these new tokens um, in addition to passwords or instead of passwords. And um, people can acquire these tokens themselves. It means you don't have to issue something. Um, you don't have to worry about the battery um, running out. Um, so it's a really great option for, for stronger authentication. Um, now, remember, the applications um, will use um, 
the OpenID Connect or SAML APIs. So to your application developers, um, you, they don't know anything about U2F because the your domain might offer many types of authentication, including U2F or um, even passwords in some cases or mobile. So there might be a whole number of options that you have available. The client would use um, one of the standard APIs for authentication. Um, if they use OpenID Connect, um, they can use a parameter called the ACR parameter to request a specific type of authentication. So maybe only certain websites um, you want to um, have requests you to have authentication. So um, that's it for the demo. Um, download the Glue server or, um, at glue.org slash docs and um, let us know how you do. Thanks.